Hello everybody, Charlie Cummins here on Phoenix Masonry Training Center, Inc. And today I'm going to talk about how not to negotiate a brick, block, and stone job. How not to do it. Now there's all kinds of books on how to do everything and do this in your personal life and your there's something you know good but nobody is telling you what not to do so today I'm going to tell you uh, an experience I had on a project up in Alaska and uh, maybe you can learn something from it uh, they built an industrial park and they went in and cut the roads and the curbs and put the sidewalks and all this kind of stuff in and they had some fancy brickwork they wanted on the entranceway when you came into this project. So it was getting late in the year and and like up in Alaska you better be done by the middle of October otherwise you're looking at a lot of heat and cover and it's hard to heat Alaska in the winter time. So anyhow these guys they were from California they came up and did the business part and they were looking for somebody to lay the brick on this wall. Now this wall was a radius wall. And uh, they had stuck a pin out in the ground. The footer was poured. The footer was poured. And they had a stake in the ground. They wanted you to come in 175 feet and strike the arch. The wall was about uh, oh, 150 feet long. They wanted block, and they wanted brick. Now, it wouldn't have been that hard to do. The block was easy to put up, you know, with the radius. But the brick, they wanted it instead of, they wanted it to be out of plumb. I think it was three and a half inches, three and a half or four inches. They wanted the wall to be out of plumb and they didn't want you to step over every time, you know, like an eighth of an inch or whatever. They wanted the wall to have been built stri straight up and then tilted over. So it had to be built that way because you can't build a wall like that and then knock it over. So instead of staggering it a little every course and everything else, and the wall was about 120 or 30, 40 feet long. And uh, so... Nobody, they were having a hard time finding anybody that could do it. Because, I, you know, I always did big commercial jobs and all the uh, people who did the smaller work and everything else, they couldn't find anybody to do it. And so somebody told them, call Charlie. You know, he's, he's, if anybody can do it, he can do it, but he's expensive, which they were right. So I go and meet these guys from California. And... We went, it was a rainy day, nobody was working, so we went and we had uh, dinner and we shot some pool and we had a few drinks and we're big buddy buddies and everything else. And he told me about this project. He gave me a drawing to it. <clears throat> so a day or two later I called him and I gave him a price and all the material was there. All I was going to have to do was, I was going to have to buy the block and uh, furnish some order. Everything else was there. And the grout in the block wall. I had to buy that. So I sat there, I looked at it, you know, and it was getting late in the year. I didn't have anybody uh, that I could get to help me right off the bat. So I gave them a price of about $90,000, $95,000 labor. And I was, like I said, I was buying a little bit of the material. And, uh, to my surprise, I got the job. You know, they told me they'd give me the job. Well, uh, then when I met them and I gave them the price of $90,000, $95,000, he started asking me all these questions about, well, how are you going to do it? How can you lay the brick and how can you get them, you know, and I said, hey, hey. I said, you called me. I didn't call you. If I didn't know how to do it, I wouldn't tell you how to do it. Oh, no, no, Charlie, no, no. I said, don't don't worry about it. I know how to do it. So 
they, we signed a contract. He drew up a contract, and we signed it. I was going to do it for, I believe, $95,000. So I called one of my mentor, mentors, mentors who lives in uh, San Antonio. I got him a first-class ticket, told him to come on up for a couple of weeks or what have you, and uh, so he did. So we go out there, and to make a long story short, we built it. And a lot of people said I charged too much or whatever, people I talked to, because I did, this was in like 92 or 93. And, that, you know, that's 30 years ago. And, well, I made right at $70,000 profit in two, two and a half weeks' work. That's good money, okay? That's good money now, but it was real good money up there. But now here's the lesson I'm trying to tell you. I shouldn't have let my ego jump in my face like whenever he was asking me how I was going to do it. I should have not let my ego or my foot get in my mouth, whatever you want to say and everything else. I, hey, you called me. I didn't call you. I shouldn't have done that. What I should have done was when I met him, I should have told him, I said, you got a hell of a project here. It's, it's tough. Before I even get going good here, let's don't waste any time. That's how much money do you have in the budget to do this wall and everything else? He would have told me they had $250,000 in the budget. Okay? Uh, I would have told them you better find somebody else. You can't do it for that. And I probably could have got $260,000 to do what I'm talking about instead of $95,000, okay? So he who speaks first loses all this other good stuff and everything else. you got to have a little common sense when you're uh, negotiating with people. This was a extremely hard job. You know, like I said, uh, I kind of drew this out. As you can see, they had a pen out here. At 170 foot, I swung the radius. I laid the block. The block was straight up and down. And the brick, like I said, it was out of plumb three or four inches. The wall didn't go but about five feet high. So anyway, like I said, you know, I, I made I made good money on it. I made seventy seventy plus thousand dollars in two weeks, but I could have made one hundred and fifty five or one hundred and seventy five thousand dollars in two weeks. So always listen. God gave you one mouth, two ears. That means you're supposed to listen to doing something. And these uh, these guys from California, you know, it it. Uh, they got a good looking project. Everybody was tickled to death and everything else. So that just about concludes this deal about how to negotiate. And so if you don't remember nothing else, get the information. If you know how to do it, ask them how much you got in your budget. I mean, this is not bidding a school or, or a police department or, or the international airport or something like that. This is just what we call the free enterprise doing something. And uh, so learn to ask questions, you know, qualify them. How much money you got in this project? Especially if you've already done the report, which I did. We went and ate dinner. I think he even bought my dinner. We shot some pool. We had a few drinks. We're buddy buddies. And like I said, whenever I give him a price of ninety or ninety-five thousand dollars, it was so much lower. It made him so uncomfortable. He didn't think I knew how to do it, because. But then again, the only people that he had gotten prices from were concrete guys, people who put in curbs and sidewalks and pour slabs. They don't know how to lay block or brick. So do your homework. That concludes it.
Uh, remember, we uh, we start students every every Monday. Uh, when you come to the class and everything else, if you, we recommend you take our Master Mason course, you'll be able to lay 150 modular brick in one hour or less. You'll be able to lay 50, 8, 8, 16 block, 50 of them in one hour or less. Of course, you'll be able to build all your corners and leads out of brick and block. And your final test is you build a two-foot square brick chimney or pier, and you're going to lay a hundred brick in two hours or less. You're going to build that same size pier out of block and lay 24 block in one hour or less. Now all of that's jointed, brushed off, and rejointed. And when you can do that, you finish the Master Mason course and you'll be able to go to work anywhere in the United States or the world for that matter if you want to leave the country. Uh, we work with employment staffing companies that can get you working anywhere in the United States. So for more information or respond to this, hit the subscribe button and everything else and if you want a free book, I've got a book I'll give everybody. It's going over real good called The Secret of Squaring Up Buildings. Uh, I've sold it for as much as 50 bucks. I'm going to give it to you. So uh, text me or, or uh, hit me up and I'll send you the link to the uh, book, The Secret of Squaring Up. Well, folks, that's it. Have a great day and keep, uh, when you subscribe, we'll notify you when we're coming out with more videos. Thank you and goodbye.